Good morning Internet, this is Alex da Sudokus and it is Saturday the 29th of August 2020. We have another New York Times medium Sudoku. Um, I'm going to try this with no pencil markings and um, see how I get on. A uh, bit of a strange one today because um, I actually tried to record this morning some hard Sudoku but I basically messed up the first recording. In essence, I forgot to press the record button, or rather I clicked it too many times and it didn't actually record. Um, and then I wasn't able to solve it the second time, even though I solved it the first time and uh, I can't figure out what I did. So I'm taking a break, I'm going to try the medium puzzle with no pencil markings at all. Um, so this is either going to go really well and I feel a bit more confident and um, can jump back into the hard Sudoku. Um, or I'm going to fail this as well and feel really bad and miserable and take a break from recording until later on in the day. So let's see how it goes. Um, ones I can't see anything. Twos we've got a two over here. Uh, two, two, two. <clears throat> we've got a pair of twos down there. It's not very useful. What about threes? We've got a pair of threes. Three possible locations full of threes. Not looking very promising, if I'm honest. Uh, threes. So, what about four? So we've only got one four. Can't do anything. That's a ones and fours now, currently weak. Uh, fives over there somewhere. Hmm. This is not looking super easy. So I've got a six here because of these two sixes, and that's six. And that leaves me with a pair of sixes up there. And I've got, oh, there's another six. Because these two sixes lock out the columns and that six locks out the row. So now we've got another pair of sixes that we can't resolve just yet. But seven, we've got seven here because of these two sevens locking the row and that one locking the column. Uh, let's see, another seven here. Thanks to this seven locking the column and that seven locking the row which means now we have ourselves another seven. So it's always good when a cage has um, four of the same numbers pointing into it because under any circumstances that will always result in a confirmed digit. Uh, these two seven locks a seven up there and I've got a final seven with these two sevens and these two sevens. <coughs> so looking more promising with um, the mediums. Uh, eight is also <laughs> A weak number. We've only got one of them. So let's see how we get on. Nines. Nines. Uh, I've got a nine here because of these two nines locking in the rows and this nine locking the column. And that creates another nine here because of that nine locking that cell and this nine locking that cell. So that pushes a pair of nines over there. Uh, but we can't figure out where just yet. And a pair of nines over here. So not too bad. And um, we've got an eight and a... What am I missing? Eight and a four. Um, I think both four... So one, four and eight are all weak. Oh dear. <coughs> Pardon me. And they don't actually... Int the three weak numbers, they don't actually interact in any way. I can interact with one and one and four. 1 and 4 can't interact with the 1 and 8. So what about over here? I've got a triple. We have three, uh, 1, 3 and 5 missing. Well, the 5 sees into these two cells, so that's got to be a 5. That leaves me a 1 and a 3. And 3, 3. We actually have a 3 now because this creates a pointer pair of 3s. I've got a pair of 3s down there locking these two columns, that three locks that cell, the point of three locks that cell, so that's now a three. Um, so now these are ones and threes, so one looks into those and those. Uh, oh, we've got a pair of ones here as well, but again, they don't do anything for us. So let's move on to twos and because I can't see any more weak cages anymore. So I've got a pair of twos down here. 
two, two, two. Okay, so this two acts on these two cells, that two acts on that cell. So I have a pointer pair of twos there. Does that help me at all? The locks a pair of twos in here. Um, <clears throat> but we can't deduce where the two is in neither of these columns. So that's unfortunately the end of that. Uh, threes. Do, do, do. Three, 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 three. Okay, so that three and that. No, hang on. No. Wrong logic in my head. Um, four. That four still doesn't do anything. Five. I've got five here somewhere. Five, five. So a pair of fives here. <clears throat> Pardon me, I seem to be constantly having something stuck in my throat. Let's hope it's not another nosebleed. Uh, sixes, I've got a pair of sixes locking the columns and a six locking the row. <coughs> so that's actually a six. And that pushes another six over here because of these two sixes locking the rows and that six locking the column. And that pins another six down here because of these six sis acting on the column and one acting on the row. So we've just done all the sixes. So let's remind ourselves these are fours and fours and eights. Okay. So let's move on to seven. Sevens are done. So can we do anything with eights as a result of all of that? <coughs> <coughs> no, can't see any eights. So nines have a pair over there. Um got a pair over here. Nothing else. So any more weak areas developing? Not that I can see. Oh, we've got a trip over here. So these are one, eight, and four. Brilliant. We can't see any of those numbers. So uh let's move on then. Um unless we want to look at these quadruple areas. Let's just do another scan first. Uh ones. So one's still locked in a pointer pair there, which doesn't do anything for us. Ah, we now have a two because that two locks those two cells and that two locks that cell. So we have a two there. And that's another end of the pipe for us. Um, so that creates a triple, which are going to be one, four and eight. We've got a four seeing into here. So we've got a pair of fours there. Point a pair of fours locking a four in there, and that four locks a four in this cell and the eight in that cell. So finally, the four and eight have um, repeated numbers. Um, they're no longer as weak as the one, but I'm not sure if that means anything right now. So that hasn't generated any eights or ones over here, so um, we're still locked with a pair of fours there, and one and eight can be in either any of the three cells but we have unlocked um, a pair here which are going to be ones and twos so can we see either have we got a pointer pair of twos somewhere do, 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 do. nope we can't deduce the ones or the twos what about over here we've got one eight and five one eight and five i've got five there that's about it, really. So, <coughs> again, not much luck. And I still have the one, four, and eight over here, but four seats into that cell. Not that it matters because we already knew that the four is locked into that cell. And um, what about this triple? Um, we're looking for four, um, four, three, three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. Um, I can see 4 and 5 there, so therefore that has to be a 3. And that finally locks the 1 and a 3 in those cells. And does that do anything else for us? The 1... Uh, ones, Nope. Not that I can see. So let's investigate here. We've got an 8 and a 9 left in here. Um, neither of which are deducible, so... Let's leave that for now. We've got another triple here, which are one, eight, and five. The reason I'm able to always kind of um, know that it's one and one and eight. Um, I'm counting like one, eight, and then counting backwards to a five is because I know one. Um, I knew one, four, and eight were weak numbers, so good chance that the one and eight um, 
one four and eight are weak but i already saw a four so i went for one and eight and then looking for the five but i can't resolve any of those so let's move on have we got any more weak areas one eight and five again here isn't it one eight and five so fives are in these two cells not much help for us right now so let's actually do another round now and see if we can um, another round of Snyder notation to see if we can actually well I say Snyder notation really just scanning the board because I'm not actually doing any notations itself so ah here we go so these two threes actually locks a three in these two cells but I see a three up there so that is a three which helps me locks the final three down in that cell now how does that impact things? Um, I've got one, four and eight in these three cells, so that hasn't changed. Um, or rather, I probably didn't look at that before because it's only just become a triple, so let's see. It's these two places that I've put cells in, so... And I wasn't looking for three over there. Um, wasn't looking for three over here either, so... I guess that hasn't actually improved things for us, but anyway. So, here we go. The 4 locks these two cells, creating a pointer pair of 4s, seeing that cell. We've already got 4 looking to here, so that reduces the 4 and the 1, 4 and 8 over here. Um, it hasn't collapsed it completely yet. What have we got here? We've got a pair of 4s and... Um, hmm... Oh, fours and fives. Can't resolve that just yet. So, can we resolve this now? This is, um, oh, still one and eight. So, that's no use. These are eight and, no, one and, one and two. Okay, so let's actually just carry on with the pens, not pencil markings, but you know what I mean. Um, just going through the blocks. Uh, so, going through the numbers, fours, 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 can't see anything on fours, fives. So fives are locked in these two cells. <clears throat> these two cells, not helpful at all. What about sixes? We've done sixes and sevens, so has eight unlocked anything? We've got pointer pair of eights there, which locks a pair of eights down here. Does that help us in any way? Okay, if 8s are locked in there, what is this triple? This is 1, 8 and 5. Um, have we locked the 5s anywhere? No, we haven't. So this is 1 or 5. So that's still no use for us. 9s. Pair of 9s there. 9, 9, 9. Ah, we have another 9 here because of these two 9s locking the columns and that 9 locking the row so that pushes a nine over here because of these two nines and that nine acting on each other which in turn pushes a nine in here and now all the nines are done and we've just resolved another eight over here so that eight helps us deduce an eight over here because of the two eights and that eight locking the row and I have a good feeling about this these have to be fours and fours and fives oh what about down here four five and one i've got one so ones have to be in here which locks a pair of ones over there oh that doesn't help me at all so a bit disappointing but hang on these are one four and five i can see a five in that cell so this is one and four actually no this doesn't help me at all does it no so Let's let's go around with ones from one to nine again, and I have a strong feeling that we we are going to solve it this round. Um, okay, so looking at this row, I was looking at the twos. I noticed the twos are locked in those two cells. And I've got these two, actually, that those two is actually locks a two down here. So in fact, I know that now has to be a two because that two locks those two cells 
not two locks, that's Sal. So now there has to be a two over here. And now these two twos, locks, are two up here. So I think that's all the twos done. And now ones are now a pointed pair here, which means I have a one down here. And uh, well, actually the column would have told me that that's a one anyway. So that's one thing I'm quite bad at actually, like scanning and seeing any um, single digit left on a row or a column. So let's see, that hasn't helped me in terms of the ones yet. So twos, twos are done, so threes are done, fours. Four, four is the pointed triple here. But that doesn't help me at all. Pointed pair, hang on. No. Uh, fives. <coughs> fives. Fives, fives. So fives got to be over here and here. Uh, six and sevens are done. What about eight? We've got a pointed pair of eights here, which forces a pointed pair of eight and um, eights over. Actually, no, it locks an 8 over here. So that 8 has locked a pointed pair here, looking up, and I've actually got two 8s in those rows. So that has to be an 8 now, and that has to be the 1. And in turn on that row, that has to be an 8 now. So that forces an 8 down here, and 8s are down here, but we don't know what they are yet. That's okay, we now have enough weak areas, I think, to do some... Uh, to finish the puzzle. So I've got one looking into that cell, so in terms of these two cells, the one has to go in there, which means the five now has to go down here. And also in this cage, I've only got a five left. That leaves me a pair of fours and eights. Can't deduce where they are yet, but the fours and eights will be in that direction as well. Again, I can't tell where they are. I do have a single cell left in this column. It is a one, and that one... Um, reduces this into fours and fives. Uh, again, we can't see them at all, so this is very peculiar. I've got another pair here. These are also fours and fives, but this time I see a five, so I suspect there are lots of four or five pairs, but this is going to collapse them, so that forces a four and five there, which forces a four over here, and um, so that has to be a one now. Um... I thought they were more four or five pairs, but I can't see them now. So this also has to be a one, and that has to be the five. And let's see, that forces a four over here. Maybe that was the four or five pair? I'm not too sure. Um, and that four forces a four over here, and a four up here. So that's all the fours done, and now the five is forced in here and here. And we are now left with just the ones and eights. So eight is here and here, and this is a one. And today's medium Sudoku was quite easily solvable with um, zero pencil markings. Um, I will do a normal solve as well for anyone who um, is struggling in general, just starting out. So, um, so I hope otherwise um, it's been interesting. And um, I shall see you guys tomorrow or the next medium video or even a hard video. Bye!